Hey guys, it's Bro you Whack. Welcome back to the top five series where I've been doing a lot more top 10 videos because I just love to contradict this series name. A couple weeks ago, you guys want to see the top 10 best gun skins in Overwatch. And in typical Bro you Whack fashion, I decided to split them up like I did to your dad's legs and I decided to do the top 10 best event gun skins. And this week, we're doing the top 10 non-event gun skins in Overwatch. But before we get into that, I want to just tell you guys something funny. And no, I'm not going to give my self-deprecating humor that I always do to try to get you guys to feel bad for me so that I finally get some attention. No, I want to let you guys know that a couple of days ago, like literally two days ago, I downloaded TikTok with the full intentions of releasing my own TikTok and then I just found out they're going to ban it. <laughs> like... That's just awesome. I can't do anything that the cool kids can do, man. Look, I just found out about cat girls, dom girls, bra girls, all the amazing types of women on there, and they're just gonna go poof, bye bye, no more. So I'm kind of depressed, not that depressed because, again, I was only attached to it for like two days, but that still sucks. All right, let's talk about Overwatch gun skins because, my God, <laughs> are there a lot of cool gun skins in Overwatch, but especially with the non event skins. Ooh, the gun skins just look so much better than, than the skins themselves, which really does suck because I would love to rock a lot of these gun skins because that's what I'm looking at in game. But I can't have myself looking like this. This is a catastrophe. So that's why I like doing these top 10 episodes because it gives me the opportunity to talk about underrated skins, but more importantly, some extremely underrated gun skins that you always see in game. But before we get into that, even though TikTok's getting banned, Instagram isn't getting banned, and neither is the poll. So you can go to my Instagram, you can vote for next week's top 10 episode, which is going to be the top 10 best sprays versus the top 10 best sprays. I'm ending season three. I'm tired of y'all. Unless y'all have an idea that you can write in the comments i'll greatly appreciate it but i'm pretty sure i made every single top five or top 10 episode related to this game but not the top 10 best non-event gun skins <laughs> so we're at number 10 it's a what what the heck let me check my notes a hanzo and especially the young hanzo Ugh, okay, I, I hate this hero and I especially hate this skin, but when you look at young master Hanzo, the gun is pretty sick. It's a tiny little detail, but the dragon at the tip of the gun, <laughs> tip, my tip looks like that. No, it doesn't, I wish, but it's perfect for Hanzo because obviously Hanzo shoots the two dragons and so having the dragon at the end of the bone arrow where he shoots the dragons is a nice little addition. Honestly, that is the only reason as to why I like this gun skin because everything else about the bone arrow and even the skin itself, low-key is cheeks. Now, I won't be influenced by the skin itself because this is obviously non-event gun skins. The skins could look trashy where the gun looks awesome, which is a common theme with a lot of these skins especially this one, which is why it's only at number 10. So, continuing on with that trend with a god-awful looking outfit, but a pretty cool gun skin is at the number 9 spot. Because when you look at our favorite scientist's gun skin, not monkey art, if you call him monkey, I'm gonna cry, you gotta appreciate Undersea for what it's supposed to represent. Because while his astronaut outfit looks so stupid, his Tesla cannon being a rocket ship is really cool, man. Not only that, it's an awesome lore skin, even though it's not necessarily inspired from actual lore because as you guys know Blizzard hates giving us lore I'm gonna cry but he came from the moon through an escape pod a, a space shuttle a rocket ship? I don't know, he's working for SpaceX with Elon Musk and that's why they made him into an astronaut. But to go along with the stupid outfit, they decide to give him a little rocket ship Tesla can that shoots electricity, which is always adorable. Winston, he's low-key an underrated hero. We need to have some more love for the scientist, man. But he can only get the number nine spot because, I mean, you, you know, a rocket can only take you so far, literally, because you run out of engine fuel. I'm gonna move on to number eight because I'm cringe at myself. So raise your hand if you like cat girls. Yeah, you're probably gonna hate me now that I list this skin at only the number eight spot because this is the skin that is used by every single weeb out there. But it is still cool at the end of the day, but not cooler than all these other gun skins, which is why it's only at number eight, but this is Genji's Oni skin. So the first two gun skins that I talked about, their inspiration was pretty obvious. A dragon and a rocket ship from the SpaceX program, which is why it's called a Tesla can. I am so sorry. This, though, Genji's Oni stars and even the sword, I, I, like, what 
is it? <laughs> they kind of remind me of the clownfish eggs from Finding Nemo. Like if you saw at the beginning of the movie, Marlin and now his dead wife had a bunch of kids. What a slut, am I right? They just had all these red eggs with little black dots and it looks like Genji got three of them and just stuffed them in stars. Still looks cool though, but ooh, it's, are they eyes? Are they clownfish eggs? Like what is that, Genji? What, what are you up to? All right, now we're getting into the good gun skins. Coming up next is a skin that I never really had an appreciation for until I looked at the gun skin because it's pretty cliche for this hero and you're gonna soon see why but this was Farah's ass skin ASP skin uh, what do you guys say I always say asp so it's pretty common knowledge that Farah is Egyptian and just like Anna Blizzard loves to include a lot of Egyptian assets when making skins for Farah and Anna and in this case they decide to take her big giant rocket and make it into a serpent with wings <laughs> Is, is that a snake with wings? It sure looks like it. I mean, when it comes to Farrah's guns, they're low-key slept on because Blizzard does so much when trying to transform that big giant cylinder. A lot of the times they just make it into some sort of, of creature. In this case, it is a serpent, but I do also like how the rockets in the back is also another serpent head as if it's like biting onto the rocket bullets. That's a cool little addition too. But other than that, the only other thing that I wanted to bring up was that this is one of the few guns that actually looks better without the gold cam. And I don't know if it suffers from the soldier syndrome where if you just make the whole entire gun gold It's a little bit too overbearing here. They did have like the blue But making the whole entire cylinder gold. It's a little bit too much I would like a little bit less but either way it still looks cool nice silhouette awesome design Now the next skin on our list is the only soldier 76 skin that I used for years up until he got the grill master skin And then up until I actually got the grill master skin. I always used night ops as you guys might know my opinion of Soldier 76 is that I think he has some of the worst skins in Overwatch. Not only that, I think he has some of the worst gun skins in Overwatch. Not only that, I think he has one of, if not the worst golden guns in Overwatch, which is why I refuse to get his gold gun. But when I see the Night Ops 76 M16 assault rifle, it makes me want to pull the trigger. Literally. Because it's an M16, which is a gun with a trigger. <laughs> and because I want to kill myself because my god am I stupid. You have to remember, back in 2016 and 2017, we literally didn't have any options besides Night Ops 76. And the other soldier skin, uh, green camouflage, uh, why Why would you rock that over Night Ops? You would rather subject yourself to looking like a green turd with an M16 that is still just as cool rather than looking like an all black daddy ninja that's in the army. Oh my god, you got some problems. If you've been playing soldier Six for a long time, you know how awesome this skin is. But then slowly but surely we got better skins like Slasher, Grillmaster, and Formal 76 that this skin just kind of faded out of existence. But that's why I want to bring this back because I know there's some of you guys that's wanting to get into Soldier literally because he's gay. And this is a good skin to start off with. You get one of the best skins. You get one of the only good base legendary skins that he has. <laughs> and you get a cool M16 that looks pretty sick golden. I mean, it still doesn't look that great, but it's doable. But speaking of black emo and my internal suffering, then let's go on to the next skin because this is one that I feel like is also extremely underrated. One, because it looks dope to begin with, and two, it's perfect for the hero that it's for. This is Reaper's Nevermore skin. Let me just describe the skin like this. Two raven head skulls on the top of dual wield shotguns, and they also have light up eyes with a little ghost effect. That is so cool, man! I've talked about this skin on many different occasions, so I won't go into too much detail, but one thing that I do want to bring up real quickly, I I've said some dumb things in the past, as you guys know. I I'm just dumb, uh, but one thing that I use to describe this skin and explain the origins behind it is that I always said that Edgar Allan Poe would be in the streets of Baltimore saying to kids that he would just say never more children because they just wanted him to get out of the way. That's not... Uh, true <laughs> like at all. I understood that that was what his poem was called or something But I guess I just don't understand the origins of Nevermore I had to ask would you be surprised if I asked one of my goth friends where the origins of Nevermore was and they just said yeah No Edgar Allan Poe never said that to kids, so I felt really stupid. This skin is dope though So get this Raven shotgun and especially golden. It looks a little bit awkward, but it'll grow on you So now we're cracking in the top of this list where a lot of people love to say I'm biased that I only include May items on this list because I love May and that's not true I can just see the true beauty that May brings to the overwatch skin arsenal and you guys don't have appreciation until I talk about it Which is why I'm gonna be listing May's eco point and her 
Antarctica gun skin this high on the list. So I know this might be a little bit unfair because while this still isn't an event gun skin, it was a part of the quote unquote Blizzard World event when Blizzard World first got released and a bunch of heroes got different Blizzard IP skins, this being one of them, where this was inspired for May's cinematic where she was just putting together her first blaster. And I think that's why I really like it. One, because it's from actual Overwatch lore, unlike Winston where we haven't really seen that skin before, this we've seen in a cinematic and it looks really cool because it's a MacGyver type gun. You got the hair dryer and then you got the whipping cream and then you just have various cans to make the snout of the gun. It really is a work of art in a trashy sort of way. Where May's guns, typically they're very high tech or they're really put together, this really is a nice change of pace. But while that gun is really cute, it has a fantastic origin story of the very first May blaster. At the number three spot, this gun, just cool man. It is so, so cool. This is Ash's Tommy gun. Being that this is the mobster skin, of course you gotta give them the old 1920s gun that every single gangster in New York was rocking at the time. The freaking Tommy gun, bro! The drum mag, the extendo clip, not the extendo clip in rap music videos, no, an actual extendo clip and then a long barrel blaster that you pointed at some and be like, hey, do I gotta teach you a lesson? I can't really do a New York accent, man. I, I wish. While Tommy guns are mostly automatic guns, I do love how Blizzard just kind of ignored that little tidbit and decided to replace her automatic assault rifle with the Tommy gun to match her outfit because you can't have a gangster outfit without the Tommy gun. Bob's looking fresh as ever, Ash is looking cute, but they're looking so menacing with that Tommy gun. And you don't wanna be messing with them if you wanna keep your kneecaps, all right? So going from a cool, menacing, intimidating, and dope looking gun skin like that, we're gonna go to another gun skin that is cool, intimidating, dope, and menacing. Black Cat Diva. <laughs> Just wanted to step on me, dude. So I, I don't know if this is a cop out, but I kind of include Diva's mech as her gun because w what do you shoot with? Obviously you have the bunny blaster or the kitty blaster in this case, but you also shoot with your mech. So if we're including the mech, I have to include it at the number two spot because they made her mech into a black and pink cat with a tail. Oh, I just, somebody at Blizzard needs a raise. Like, I, I hope they're still working at Blizzard so that they can continue to get promotions because they are doing God's work. Making cat girls in a video game, getting us one step closer to making the fandom come to real life. <laughs> But even if you don't want to include the mech, then when you look at the kitty blaster, it has a little cat bell at the end of it for the ornament, which they always do a fantastic job replacing the ornament, but I particularly like this one because, well, it's a little cat bell. Like, oh, it's so adorable. This whole skin's adorable. I love it. I just want to have my own. I really do. Like, I'm sorry, but I don't think that's too much to ask for a real life cat girl with knee high socks that's going to love me for the king that I should aspire to be. I know I'm a loser, just let me be, all right? But what is the number one not even gun skin in Overwatch? What is a skin that you can buy right now without any single event that you know you're gonna be making a good investment and that if you even pour more money into it, if you get the gold gun for this skin, oh my God, you're gonna be impressing every single bra girl that is on TikTok. The gun that I'm talking about, which ironically isn't even a gun, is Reinhardt's Black Heart Axe. L let me say that one time. An all black axe. Let me say it very, very slow for you. An all black axe. Let me just say it ASMR right now. An all black axe. An axe that looks like it was crafted straight out of a danger heart from Skyrim and a color palette that is made from the gods. Black and red. Something that can make any person cream their pants. This is the kind of gun skin that you need to invest in. You will not regret it if you get the Blackheart Reinhardt skin. And I'm not even a Reinhardt player. He's probably like my fifth least played hero of all time. You can tell from the gameplay that I don't know how to play Reinhardt. And I wish I did because my god does he have some amazing skins. Not only that does he have some amazing gun skins. Not only that this skin just makes me want to have a real life danger axe now. <sighs> I don't know why this skin gets me going. It just does. I, I, can you really blame me? They turned his hammer into an axe, and he also has an axe sound effect as well. There is just so much going for this skin that if I didn't put it at the number one spot, I probably would have gotten arrested, I probably would have gotten canceled, and I probably would have gotten banned by a Cheeto in office. But anyway, guys, that is my list of the top 10 best non-event gun skins in Overwatch. Now next week, I probably will be doing the top 10 best sprays in Overwatch because 
I just, what else is there to do? I'll be checking the comments, but I'm pretty sure we're going to be doing that next week. Uh, who's to know? But until then, I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. More Overwatch videos to come. And I'm kind of sad about TikTok, man, because it sucks. I just got on it, and I've been having a lot of fun with it. Man, I love cat girls now. I love you guys, and bye.